Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Happy, happy Friday. It is just about 6.30 a.m. and I just pulled into my WW workshop. So I'm going to head in, weigh in, stay for the workshop. But before I go in, I wanted to talk with you guys for just a few minutes about my week. So I've noticed a lot on YouTube. I do follow quite a few other WW YouTubers that a lot of them are switching out of freestyle and moving into different programs such as the old points plus, the old classic points. They're saying freestyle doesn't work for them. They're not losing weight on freestyle. So they're choosing to go ahead and shift programs. I want to reassure you that I am not changing from freestyle. I enjoy freestyle. I enjoy the flexibility of freestyle. I feel like for me, I don't overeat the zero point foods. My problem is I often overeat points, point friendly foods, point heavy foods. It's not the zero point foods that are my problem. So I will not be switching from freestyle. So a lot of you have been DMing me and asking me that I'm in freestyle. I enjoy the program. I enjoy the flexibility. I believe that if you follow freestyle, freestyle works. Uh, so I'm not going anywhere. But I want to caveat that with you have to follow freestyle. Man, you guys, have I been struggling. And it's not that I don't know to tra how to track my food, that I should track my food. I know what I should eat. I know that I should stay within my points. But I have just had a lot going on. And the struggle has been real. The struggles been real. In fact, on Saturday, I had a little bit of a health scare with my mom where I ended up taking her to the ER. Luckily, she's okay. Kind of threw off my game over the weekend. Did well Sunday, did well Monday, struggled Tuesday, did well Wednesday, struggled yesterday. I think for me, it's my mindset. It is not that I don't know how to work the program. I'm just choosing not to. My mindset needs a kick in the rear. So I've done a little bit of thinking over the last couple of days. The weather here is finally getting nicer with today being the exception. It is raining today. But I am going to be starting an exercise program and I have a little challenge that I'm putting forth for myself for the upcoming week. So when I get out of my workshop, I'm going to share my exercise plan and my challenge with you guys. Of course, I'm going to share my weigh in. I don't know what's going to happen when I step on the scale. Another thing is, is I had shark week the entire week. It literally just went away yesterday. So I've been hungry all week. I've been feeling bloated all week. I feel like I'm still a little bloated. I don't know what's gonna happen when I step on the scale, but I'm happy that I'm here. I'm gonna weigh in, you know me. I'm gonna stay positive. No matter what, I am moving on to a brand new week starting today. My week starts over today. So whatever happened last week, in the rear view mirror, and my week starts over today. So we'll see what happens when I hop on the scale. But I will be back to share with you not only my weigh-in, but what we discussed in this week's workshop. Hey guys, welcome back. So I just pulled into work. Boy, is it a rainy, gloomy day today. Boo, I am ready for some more sunshine. It has been absolutely beautiful lately, so I guess I'm not going to complain. Plus, it saves on my water bill of watering my lawn. So that's definitely a thumbs up, a win. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the workshop. So if you remember before I went in, I was talking that I've been struggling lately and I know that my struggles stem from right here. They stem from my mindset. So what do you know? That was the topic of this week's WW workshop. Like I said, they are on the ball. Every time I go to a workshop, it seems to be just the topic that I need. So today's was about mindset. It was talking about whether you have a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. So before we get into the meat of the topic, let's discuss what the difference is. So a fixed mindset is one that you are set on. So for example, you step on the scale, you have a gain. You immediately say, I suck at this. I am not a good weight watcher. I'm never going to do this. I am never going to lose this weight. I am fat. 
I'm ugly, whatever those terms come into your mind when you step on the scale versus someone that has a growth mindset. That person is going to step on the scale. They're going to see a gain. They're going to be like, dang it, I have a gain, but what can I do to fix it? What can I do to not have a gain next week, to have a loss next week? So that's the difference between someone that has a fixed mindset and someone that has a growth mindset. It's all how you look at what is in front of you. So let's dive a little deeper in to what we can do to transition from having a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. So the first thing we need to do is shift our mindset. So if you are someone that typically has a fixed mindset, you're the negative Nelly, you're the one that steps on the scale and says words such as, I can't, I won't, I, I don't, then that is where we really need to cognizantly think of that. I just said the word I can't, but is that really the case or can I? Can I change what just happen? Can I lose next week? Can I shift my mindset so that I am in a positive, happier, growth-like state? So first you have to identify when you see yourself in a fixed mindset. So when you step on the scale and you see a gain and you immediately say, I can't do this. I'm terrible at Weight Watchers. That's when you need to trigger yourself to go, wait a minute, I can do this. I am not terrible at Weight Watchers. I may have had a terrible week. I may not have tracked. I may have done things that caused this gain on the scale, but I am not a terrible Weight Watcher. I can do this. You immediately need to transition from a fixed mindset into a growth mindset. That is number one top priority, what you need to do to help initialize changing your mindset. Next, you need to talk back. Talk back to that crappy fixed mindset that you have. Think of all of the challenges that you've overcome in the past. How much weight have you lost? Okay, maybe you haven't lost the weight that you wanted to lose in the time that you wanted to lose it. That's me over here, but I'm 20 pounds lighter than I was when I started WW. So I am going to focus on that. I'm going tr to transition. Oh my God, I just gained Two, look how much weight I've lost and what can I do better next week? So self-reflect, think about the changes that you need to do to get yourself where you need to go, but also reflect on what you've done that's positive in the past. What did you do this last week that was positive? Was there donuts in the office and instead you ate a banana? That is something that you need to remind yourself of when you start entering into fixed mindset to continue into a growth mindset. And lastly, keep practicing. The more you talk back to your fixed mindset, the more likely you are to develop into a growth mindset. And a growth mindset is not only going to keep you in positive spirits, but it also will reflect positively on the scale. I definitely liked this topic. I definitely needed it. My mindset has been in the gutter lately. Like I said, it's not that I don't know how to do WW. It's not that I don't know what to eat or to how to track my food. I don't care. I just don't do it. It's not a priority for me. So I have been in a fixed mindset and my friends, I am ready to go into a growth mindset. So that is going to transition us into not only my way in, but what is on my plan of attack for this next week. So like I mentioned, I have been struggling. This week was on and off, some good days, some bad days, some way over tracking days, some not tracking at all days. It was a hot mess. So when I stepped on the scale today, I maintained. I didn't gain, I didn't lose. But let me remind you, if you've forgotten, that I gained 1.6 last week. So I'm still up almost two pounds from my lowest weight not good you guys especially when I want to try to hit my 25 pounds loss and it seems to ever elude me but that is my own fault I know that I know that me not hitting the 25 pounds loss is all my own doing so I am now shifting from my fixed mindset into I don't care I'm not going to track it doesn't matter to my growth mindset where I am on a mission a mission this next week to lose weight. I want to lose the 1.6 I gained and I want to lose even more than that. So how am I going to do that? Number one, I'm shifting my mindset. I'm no longer negative Nelly. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to know that the food that I am eating and being on track is going to deliver results that I want to see on the scale next week. So every time I want to eat something that I shouldn't, every time I want to eat past 
dinner or past my points, I'm going to shift my mindset into remembering what I wanna see this next week when I get on the scale. And on top of that, I am going to honestly track get a blue dot, and I'm going to start eating a little bit more whole foods, protein-rich foods, like I have this last week. I actually did pretty good on adding that additional protein into my diet, but I am really going to be focusing on the types of foods that I'm eating. So you will see that in my meal prep this next week. I'm going to still make some fun desserts to have on hand. For me, having that sweet treat after dinner is a necessity. I know that about myself. So if I have healthy sweet treats on hand and just keep the crappy sweet treats out of my house, then I can still have my dessert at night and still stay on track. And the other thing that I'm doing that I'm really excited to share with you guys is I have come up with an exercise plan. I have not been incorporating any exercise other than just the regular walking around at work or walking around at home. Now I do get a lot of exercise on, especially Sunday, because not only is it my meal prep day, but I also clean my house. Saturdays, I get a lot of exercise in working out in my yard, but during the week, I don't. I don't have a gym membership. I don't want to have a gym membership. It is beautiful outside. So I have decided that starting this next week, clearly it's raining today, then it falls into the weekend. So starting Monday, I'm going to be walking before work every single day for at least 30 to 45 minutes. So I'm going to be getting up at 5 a.m., yes five i'm going to throw on some workout clothes throw on my walking shoes and i'm gonna go on a walk i have a somewhat easy route near my house that i'm going to start with there's three other routes that i can take where i live there is quite a bit of hills so i can eventually transition into the harder routes route two route three and finally route four which is the hardest longest route of all so you guys i'm doing an exercise plan I am doing it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So what I'm going to do to not only hold myself accountable, but to take my best friends here on my YouTube channel with me on my journey is I am going to vlog every day that I exercise. So I'm gonna do a little short clip of me on my walk every morning that I will be inserting into my Friday weigh-in video next week. So I cannot wait to share with you guys my first full week or four days of walking Monday through Thursday this next week. Now I won't walk on Friday because it's my weigh-in day and I already get up at five, get ready, get out the door to go to WW. So I cannot wait to share that with you. I'm also incorporating a little bit more walking here at work. So I'm getting out a little bit more since the weather is nice and I'm doing just a quick little jaunt, running an errand, taking the long way just to get in that little bit of extra exercise at work. So I cannot wait to walk all next week and share those little tidbits of clips with you guys next week. Not only will it hold me accountable, but I can also share with you how I'm feeling by doing these four days of exercise. So by shifting my mindset and going into this next week full bore, honest tracking, blue dots, healthier food options, four days of exercising, I guarantee you, guarantee you, I'm going to see some fantastic results on the scale next week and I cannot wait. So I want to take you guys with me. Who's in it? Who wants to have a great week? Who wants to up their activity? And who wants to see some fantastic results on the scale? So if you're with me, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you comment down below. I wanna hear how was your week? How were your results on the scale? Did you gain, did you lose? Was it what you expected? And if you're new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe hit that little notification bell so you're notified every time that I upload. And I'm also going to include a clip of the recipe on the back of the weekly. It looks really, really good. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you for your positive thoughts, for not making me feel even worse than I felt about not being successful the last few weeks on the scale. I love you. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful Friday, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Love you.